Hey guys, welcome to Vitrust Gaming. If you're new here, you might be lost, but feel free to rest a while. And if you're coming back, nice to see you again. So today we're going to be starting part one of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, now that we got our character created. However, I accidentally exited out before saving the actual character, so now we get to recreate the character, but using the footage from the first character creation as a reference. Now let's actually start the game this time. Seems like they just dropped that guy on the stones. Oh, that's me. <laughs> hey, somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary or an accommodating ditch? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. I'm gonna keep it private, a little secretive, as I determine what I want my origin to be. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. I'll be gracious. I want to know more about dragons. Is that a title or actually a dragon? You don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> or I guess actually a dragon. Let's see what I can do around here. Yeah. Do I just click the center? Okay. I'm pretty good at this one. I don't have to do any of the physical effort. Let's see, do I have a journal if I hit J? All right, I do. So I need to have a drink and hit a mannequin. Sounds like my usual weekends. I'm not gonna get to punch that mannequin, am I? Discari, Lord of Locusts, leave my city. Let the feast begin. Let's see, Discari is larger than an elephant, towering insectile, insectile nightmare, wields a scythe made of bone. Yet upon Eridan's death, Discari's influence on Galorian ripened and burst, transforming Sarkaris into the demon haunted world wound. It's basically that giant thing that decapitated that dragon. Discari's a demon lord. What's a demon lord? So I don't think he's gonna give me a weapon, but let's see. Sure thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Going straight for it. A mortal gnat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. I had so much room to fall down, I went for the abyss. Every time. Let's just wander around, see if we find anyone. There's one person. There's another. Oh, here's a living person. Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Do I want to do athletics? 
and do, hold on, we're going to get you out from under there. Knowledge of the world to say we don't want to rely on brute strength. I'll try to find something to use as a lover. Or if I want to be evil, I can use a diplomacy check and say I won't help anyone for free pay up or stay stuck under the rubble. It's not quite the character I'm going for. So let's see, am I more likely to succeed? Okay, it looks like definitely knowledge. Let's hope I get at least a five. I succeeded and I've rolled a seven. Oh, okay, that's kind of close, but not too bad. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people. Let's go ahead and smite this one centipede. And then I'm just gonna make her me giant. And I'm gonna use my bow to attack this, this guy. So let's see how this plays out. Oh, dang it, it failed. Let's have recharge that. I will attack from distance and just auto attack. Hopefully that will... Oh, okay. Yep, that did it. All right, another giant fly. Let's go ahead and have her charge at it. We should be able to beat it pretty quickly. Yep. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here in the center sticking out of a rock. I'm going to help them out, but I'm not going to charge them for it. So basically the girl's like, is the world going to change? And then you're like, it can, only if you're willing and only if you're ready. And then she's like, don't waste your energy healing me. And then a giant creature appears and kills all the people, all the traitors. And then I have to get ready to fight it. This is also visions of an angel from the past that I'm also feeling their pain. All right, let's go for the check that gives me plus three instead of minus two. So let's see if I can resist the malign influence such as this, no matter its origin. Ah, uh, I failed. I rolled. Ooh. Yeah, rolling a one's not gonna work. So that entity was Tiskari, and then basically chokes me as the angel, and then taunts me. So the angel uses the sword to cut the Tiskari, and then gets dropped onto the rocks, and he's like, drives the sword into the stone and it's like someone will come and raise it up and then do I want to focus on punishing evildoers and traitors or saving and protecting the innocent? I think I want to focus more on like the punishment, more like righting wrongs than preventing them. So I'll go with that. So the vision goes away and I don't have a wound anymore and then the glowing sword that was in my hand fades away and then I know I can call it if I need it. Just let's go. Now what is that? Before we go jumping across chasms, I survived the festival, found some allies and a golden sword, so seems like a good place to call it. So if you like this video, check out my video on Pillars of Eternity, and if this does well, maybe I'll make a part two. Thanks.